Hi, welcome to Joanne Sweet and Save Creations. This is a last minute video. We're gonna do a video, but I decided I never did a video on quesadillas. So, welcome to my channel. If you want to subscribe, please do so. Thank you for everyone that has done so far. As you see, I have some um, chicken cooking here. Just some chicken tenderloins that I um, cut up. It's lightly seasoned because I'm going to use some other seasoning on them. So, and um, let me show you my ingredients. I have some onion that I'm chopping right here. I'm going to use just a little of this burrito seasoning. Um, I have some uh, green pepper, salt, pepper, garlic, and then of course my tortitos, and then I have some margarine. And then I had the shredded uh, quesadilla cheese. So when I come back, I will be showing you the next step. Okay, so I'm just letting my cook, my chicken cook. Let that cook. And I just woke up y'all from that. So I'm just kind of a little still kind of like coming out of this nap. Okay, so I'm going to add to this because I want my onions to cook and get soft with my chicken. So I'm gonna add, we have a few big pieces like I just had, just break it up. The onions to my chicken. I'm gonna chop it down some more too, the chicken. It's a little too big, some pieces. Okay, then I'm going to add my green pepper. I'm going to cut some strips. Add that to my mixture. And this is my first time actually uh, attempting this. So, don't judge me, y'all. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you can really mess up quesadillas. I think. I'm going to give this a stir. So, and then once I add my um, green peppers, then I'm going to add, I'm going to let that cook a little bit, and then I'm going to add that that burrito seasoning so it will give my uh, quesadillas that coloring that I want so you just want to cut your green pepper in strips and add it to your chicken so it can cook down get translucent okay. and then I always cut them again so it can stretch my green pepper and I just decided I wasn't going to film it then I said you know what I never did a video on this so why not and chicken breasts don't take long it's very quick easy okay so we're just going to cut those in half as well just give them a rough chop in half so, and then we're going to add these to the mixture okay. i'm done with that put that over here I'm put my green pepper up and then, like I said, I'm going to cut cut um, the chicken down some. Some of the pieces is kind of big. I know in case it did, the chicken be kind of small. So I'm just going to run my knife through it, like so. Some of the pieces is kind of big that I cut. You don't want it too small, but you don't want it 
too big. When I'm kind of like medium sizes. I'm just taking my knife and running it through the chicken, cutting it down some. It'll be a little, because when you do the quesadilla, you want it nice and nice and fat. Okay, go through this again. And if you want the big pieces, that's on you. I mean, you know, whatever your preference is. So I'm going to continue doing this. And when I come back, I will show you the next step. All right, now. Okay, I am back. Chopped up my chicken some more. Now I'm going to add my, a little of my burrito seasoning. And I just want to add a little just for more flavor and color. So maybe like a half a pack or to your discretion of how much you want to uh, use. And I'm just going to give that a toss. Add a little bit liquid. So if you cook in a little more, just a little bit, not a lot. Liquid here. And all my liquid can dispensed. It's first. I can't talk to that y'all. So I'm basically now just letting this burrito seasoning coat my meat, get seasoning into my meat. There's another big piece there. And then we are going to fry up our quesadilla. I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning. want to make it spicy y'all know what to do um get jalapeno peppers and stuff like that but of course you know i don't do the spicy what is that? Add a little more water let this cook down a little bit and then we'll be back for the final step is which we're going to build our um our case it is. All right, now I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I got my chicken over here resting. I got my uh, skillet over there heating up. I'm just going to add um, a little butter to the pan. So my quesadilla can have a buttery taste. I'm just gonna spread it around. It's already hot because I just got to doing the chicken over here. So I'm just gonna add some butter. Let that go. And then I'm gonna start building my quesadilla. Now I have some regular tortillas. Just going to take two of them. Okay. Like that. Okay, then I'm just going to add my some of my case my chicken mixture. Okay. Uh -oh. Just gonna add that in. I'm not sure how you how much you're supposed to add. I'm really not sure. <laughs> But and then I'm going to put in my cheese. That around. My cheese on it. Okay. And then we're going to put the top on it. Press it down. I'm 
gonna take a little bit of water. Take a little water and glue the edges so they will not come up. And you can use egg wash, use whatever you want. I'm use a little water to seal my edges here. And I'm just going to take my fingers and press down like that. And my... to fry it on both sides. I'm going to fry it on both sides. I'm going to bring my camera on this side here. And uh, sorry guys. I'm going to fry it on both sides. I'm sure that I'm going to press it down sure it goes all the way down press down together I'm going to add some more margarine I'm going to make sure it's like pancake it's real buttery I just want to make sure it's lightly brown. So, not quite there yet. I'll so make sure the butter is all over. While that's going, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to seal it with the water first. And then some more chicken. And this looks so good and smells good. And we're gonna add our cheese. Make sure we add enough cheese around because I think that is also the glue as well. It's the cheese around. And then we're gonna put it on top. Press down. Now we're gonna flip this one. This one should be flipping. Yes, there we go. And then I'm gonna press down some more. Oh. That doesn't look bad. Ah. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> that doesn't look bad at all for my first time. And then I'm gonna cut into it so you guys can see. What it looks like on the inside. But we're gonna let it brown on the other side first. But this looks wonderful. And that's simple. You can add. Um, uh, steak, if you want, you can do ground beef, you can do turkey, you can do any kind of quesadilla you want to do. It's up to you. 
And then I got some um, some sour cream here, y'all. That I'm going to put. I don't know. I hate when sour cream get that little water and stuff at the top. I just can't stand it. Ugh. I can't stand it. That's what I was doing. Getting that water out. Okay. I'm going to get me a spoon. Or you can, I heard you can fold them too. And let's try, I'm going to try with the next one. I'm going to fold it and see how it comes out. This one right here is ready to come out. It's brown on both sides. So now I'm going to put my other one on here. And I'm going to add, I'm press it down. I'm going to add some more butter to this. Be nice and okay. All right, so we're going to transfer over here for a quick second. I'm going to and put that over here. And then we're going to... Open. I'm put them in here. Okay. I'm going to cut this open. See how it looks on the inside, y'all. Alright. I'm going to cut this open. Okay. This one open. Got a nice crunchy. Ooh, it's hot. Nice crunchy. Ooh. It's nice and crunchy. Y'all, okay. Um, I don't have any salsa, but of course, you can add uh salsa to this. Um, I'm just going to try to make it. Nice presentation for you guys. Yep. See how it looks on the inside? It looks wonderful. And then we're just going to put a dollop of the on top of that sour cream. And just with some color, just sprinkle a little. partially on top just a little and there you have it those are my quesadillas and like i said you can add salsa which i don't have but you can add salsa or any other little topping you want again from joanne sweet and savvy creation if you want to see more recipes like this please subscribe again from me and my home and my kitchen 